Hey there. If you're anything like me, you find that Python's pretty fun to work with compared to VBA, but most of what you do at work is in Excel. This will be a short video to show how easy it is to get information from an Excel workbook into something that Python can work with and then save that back as another Excel workbook. So I've just got this simple folder here. I have a workbook with some data in it. Um, let me pull that over. All it has are three different columns, bunch of rows in here, and like 10,000 records, I guess. Um, so decently sized, but nothing too crazy. And a blank Python script that I'll bring over. So our goal here is to take that workbook, put it into Python, and then get another workbook out of it. So we can get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is import pandas. There's a couple different ways to work with Excel, but I find that pandas is the easiest because there's so much stuff built into it. So we'll make a new data frame, which we'll call read Excel. And we're going to open up that uh, workbook like that. And just to make sure everything's working, let's print out the head of that data frame. Okay, let's try to run this. Okay, good. So we didn't get any errors there. Looks like everything's working the way we want it to. So we can close that out. So now that we have this workbook into a pandas data frame, we can do everything that we would normally do um, to a data frame. So if I wanted to, I could make a new column and let's call this like value four. And we can set this equal to value one plus value two. And uh, well, let's just sum everything up this way. Something like that. And we'll just print that data frame head back out. Try to run that. And you can see now that we have this new value four column, um, which is just the sum of these columns. So that lets us use the pandas built in uh, functions. Uh, but the nice thing about doing this is that we can actually now start to define our own function. So let's just say we have something like this, or we just want to double a number and we'll return that number times two. And now we can actually let's just say doubled is going to equal, let's use that value four, and then we're going to apply our double num to that. And let's try to run this and see. And there we go, now we can double that. So really straightforward, um, but by doing this, we can start to use some pandas functions and we can build our own functions, which returning items and objects is much easier in Python than it is in VBA. Uh, so that can usually help your productivity quite a bit. Uh, finally, we have all this in a pandas data frame. We want to get that into something that we can now save and give to our coworkers in a regular Excel format. So we're just going to create a writer. if I can spell it right. And here's where we put our new file name. So let's just say new book like that. And then, so this gives us a blank workbook and then we're gonna have to add our data frame. And we'll give it a name. So you can basically think of a data frame as a worksheet in an Excel workbook in the sense that up here, uh, we just default, it defaults to the first one. If I wanted to read from a different sheet, I could have added that as another um, uh, parameter in there. Uh, so down here, we'll take this data frame and we're gonna create a new sheet and add that to this workbook. So you can add as many as you want here. And now that we've added all that we need to, we're just gonna run uh, save off of that. So let's see. Try to run that, should be pretty, oh wait, whoops. Explicit close, must be, let's see what I forgot. 
And of course, I made a typo like I usually do, uh, typing and writing at the same time or speaking and typing at the same time is something I will probably never be able to figure out. So let's save that and try to run this again. There we go. And now we can go back to our new book here, open that up. And we have an Excel workbook that now has those two new columns that we've added. So you can see, pretty straightforward. You can do as much with this as you want. Um, it can get a little tricky depending on how the workbooks are formatted. But even if they have a lot of like merge cells and crazy formatting, uh, you can usually use Pandas slicing uh, to work around that pretty easily. So uh, thanks for watching.